execution is a little bit faster okay now now to make this work share much more real much more plausible okay this helps this comes handy in a parallel block now remember remember uh, in a uh, uh, in a re remember like when whatever contents we write inside whatever instruction we write inside parallel block each thread will execute execute all the exec uh, instructions instructions so there are like four instructions and there are like four threads there will be 16 uh, 16 executions happening on, uh, on the other hand if we have a do loop or something like that and we use of and we use uh, proper commands like parallel do then the loop will be done only once but the do loop will be broken down into small patches for each and each portion will be done by each thread isn't it now what workshare does I mean the magic of workshare comes in parallel blocks so when what I do is that when once I once I enclose workshare between parallel block then uh, this job will be broken down into into some small patches and each patch will be executed by each thread parallelly and simultaneously so don't believe me let's watch all this time we saw that only one thread was working now uh, let's see how two threads now let's see how this works okay now if you look at it now if you look at it uh, I mean I'm not sure whether you can look we'll see but there are like two threads which were active over here two threads were active over here especially CPU 8 and CPU 2 okay and after that when CPU 8 uh, started giving his job CPU 3 picked it up picked it up but uh, I, I guess the work sharing was not that even even so if I were to do this again if I were to do this again and if you, if you look at the result even this time the entire job was done by just uh, one thread which is CPU 5 now let's amp this up instead of two threads let me put four and let's see how this how this uh, how this happens so if I use four threads clearly now you see now you see what's happening now when I use four threads multiple process multiple threads started started taking the job and started doing it so four threads are you are, are, are any second active okay and uh, we there the uh, four seconds are on, uh, uh, being uh, working and active so it's like this okay so that's the point so if you put if you have a region that if you have a parallel section if you have a region of code uh, which can be made pa which can be you know work done parallelly I mean can be split parallelly among the threads okay and done to be and can be done separately okay uh, work share is a nice uh, class to work uh, why nice class to work with okay you can also go with open open MP sections open MP sections if you want but if you want just to want to have a, a compact uh, a compact one which is kind of which is like kind of like serial then this would be really helpful and the advantage of a work share uh, class among uh, uh, your sections class is as is the dependency now if you want to include this command in sections let's say now this line cannot be done written in open MP sections because while a is being done b is also b will also be the working separately by another section and c okay will require both a and b to be finished before getting this job done okay because a c is dependent on the uh, status of a and b if a and b are working and if you start doing a, a plus b then c would be wrong there will be a lot of errors in c okay that's the logic now if i were to do this in sections then i'll get i'll come across this race race condition error and the res my results would be wrong isn't it on the other hand on the other, on the other hand when i uh, if i want to avoid the race condition at the same time push this parallel push this code to make it as parallel as possible then work share is the best thing to do because here what, what work share does is that it, 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 it looks through the instruction and tries to identify which region can be purely split shared between the threads okay which part of the work cannot be shared between the threads okay and then based on that it will assign its own barrier barriers or like barriers or like some kind of a restriction and uh, device shares the job accordingly 
just you have to keep in mind that all the code cannot the entire code cannot be parallelized so parallelized are broken down so that's so that's what happens over here that's what's happened over here now that's the advantage that's the advantage to differentiate this work share class with uh, with the parallel class okay and i mean sorry uh, section sections class and uh, for some applications okay one can merge parallel and work share together to to form a hybrid block called as par combined block called as parallel work share okay now now the advantage of this is as follows if you are dedicating uh, this entire region only for work share let's say work share let's say then this block will be useful on the other hand, let's say if you're having multiple, I mean, you're having a parallel regime and you want to do this by, you want to, you want the entire thing to be done by different, different options or something like that. Then, I mean, you want to do a different stuff like we want to do a parallel do and then after some time you want to do a, you know, a critical block or a, a single block or a barrier or something like that. Then in those cases. Uh, just an OMP parallel outside and OMP workshop on the inside will be sufficient. But if you just want a dedicated, if you want to put if you want a region which has to be dedicated for workshop alone, then this uh, pa con construct parallel workshop is what is will be will be useful. And besides, uh, what are the commands that you can put in? What kind of instruction that you can put inside pa workshop? Okay, those are simple. You can put uh, open MP sections like uh, atomic classes, atomic sections or critical or uh, do do loops inside. You can put for all sections, uh, I mean for all classes and I mean not for all, for all loops and var loops inside a work share. They, those can be executed as well. So what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say here is like uh, uh, some general Fortran uh, commands can be put in, okay. Uh, there's a limit with which it, the work can be work sh shared but anyway it, it works to some extent so if you have like code which is kind of like uh, independent of each other and can be done separately or something like that work share is like a nice alternative to work with work with okay now and that's all i have for you guys in this tutorial uh thank you guys for watching now in the next tutorial i'll come up across with something some other interesting topic and i'll explain to you guys in some with another example so till then take care and uh, see you guys later